So other people are looking at you saying, why are you doing this? And you're looking at yourself and there are things you're seeing. I'm just seeing the years piling up. And they've been great years. I just don't want to see them on my face. And a lot of friends, if I show them a picture, yeah. then it's easier for them to see what I'm seeing. Okay. I think when you're animated and your face is moving and you're having a good conversation, you're not necessarily focusing on someone's wrinkles or sagging skin or jawline. Like I'm in an age now where any improvements are something I can really appreciate for another 10 years. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to wait until I'm really needing it so noticeably that then it's a drastic change. You had face lift yesterday. I sure did. How are you feeling? I feel good. Uh -huh. Surprisingly good, yes. Yeah. And there's like discomfort, yes. but there's no pain. I'm still shocked when I look in the mirror and I see bruises because I feel so good. You're four days after a deep plane facelift. Yes. Have you had any, much pain? No pain at all. Yeah. I don't think I realized how weird my neck would feel Yeah. and the tightness under here. And to know that's normal is really reassuring. You've been functioning pretty well in pretty a very well. small social circle. Yes, yeah. even done a little shopping. Your process and the planning that goes into it to minimize pain, no pain, to minimize you know, the discomfort or having to go home with your head in a, a bandage is all part of what makes the whole totality of the experience you get that result and there's all the little things that lead up to it. Knowing that was how you approached it was, I mean, how do you not get a great result? Because you take the time to be that careful and thorough and meticulous and, and read the situation and know what's gonna serve the patient best in the long run. You look happy. I am happy.